students hello everyone this is senior college mathematics topic is algebraic process if you are in ss1 ss2 ss3 you are preparing for YA, for neco for gc for napte for jump or any other external examination into high school this topic this lesson is for you you are in the right place lesson 8 simplification of algebraic expressions part 3 so lesson 8 is a continuation of lesson 6 and 7 in this lesson we want to talk about difference of two squares expressions of the form a square minus b square is called difference of two squares the meaning is if you have two terms such that one is squared the other one is also squared and the two terms are connected or joined together with a minus sign you call them difference of two squares and their factorization is quite simple how a square minus b square is equal to a minus b in one bracket a plus b in the other bracket or b plus a in one bracket b minus a in the other bracket but you don't miss them all that is your first bracket if you are starting with a the second one should be a and the two brackets one is plus and the other is minus any one you choose to use you are very correct examples for updates follow voice of peter Kors via youtube at peter Kors educom to do that subscribe to this channel like and share this video to your friends your classmates your colleagues Facebook at b.me slash pitacos educom, Instagram at pitacos ec, Telegram t.me slash pitacos educom. In all of these platforms, you get updated about what is happening from time to time at pitacos educated community where you have access to quality unlimited and simplified mathematics teachings. Okay, example 39. Factorize 4s square minus 4. If you look at the term in the beginning, a square minus b square, that means the first term and the second term both must be square. Even though the term is not square, you have to ask yourself if there is a way you can square it there's a way you can square it now if you look at 4 s square minus 4 4 can be squared so you have 2 square s squared minus 2 square 2 and s they have square it common if you factor it out you have 2 s all squared minus 2 square at the end you have 2s minus 2 in one bracket, then 2s plus 2 in the other bracket. Okay? Example 40, you have 27p square s square minus 48y square. If you look at 48 and 27, they are not perfect number. That is, you cannot square them. So, but if you share very well, you have to factor at first. You look at 27 and 48, then factor out what they have in common. That is 3. If you factor out 3, you have 9p square s square minus 16y square. 9 and 16 are perfect numbers. So, you have 3 bracket open 3 square 
p square a square minus four square y square the first term they have square in common you factor it out so you have three p s all squared then four y all squared so you have three square bracket open then you have a round bracket where you have three p s minus four y in one bracket and you have three p s plus four y in the other bracket in the other bracket example 41 you have 108 minus 3 z square 3 and 108 are not perfect number so let's try to factor out 3 that is the lowest term then you factor out 3 you have 36 minus z square you can expect 36 as 6 square so you have difference of 2 square 6 squared minus z square which become 3 bracket open 6 minus z bracket close bracket open 6 plus z okay example 42 is in fractional form notwithstanding we ensure that all the terms are squared so you have s squared over 16 minus y square over 9 and is and is expressed as s square over 4 square minus y square over 3 square if you factor out the power of 2 from the two terms you have s over 4 all squared y over 3 all squared so by the factorization of difference of two squares you have s over 4 minus y over 3 in one bracket second bracket you have s over 4 plus y over 3 in the second bracket so where you see that you cannot express any of the term as square you have to try to factor out that term that is preventing you from squaring as you see in example 41 and previous examples factorization by grouping this is applied when the given expression contains at least three terms the word at least three means three and above so the minimum is three it can be three it can be four it can be five it can be six and so on terms with common factors are grouped terms with common factors are grouped together before factorizing you don't take terms with different factors as one group no terms with common factors you take them and put them in one group before you factorize examples factorize the following example 43 you have a s minus a plus s minus 1 so we have four terms a s and a they have a common term so you take them in one group the last two terms s minus 1 in the other group if you look at the first group a is common if you factor out a you have s minus 1 the second group nothing is common except one so if you factor out one you also have s minus one at this point you see that s minus one is also common to the two sides if you factor out s minus one from the first side a is remaining from the second side plus one is remaining if you are not seeing it this way you maybe maybe you are seeing a s and s fair so let's bring a s and s together that is a s plus s then minus a minus one so let's group then a s minus s in one group minus a minus 15 minus one in the other group the first group you factor at s you have a plus one in the second group you can factor at minus one we are saying minus minus there 
you factor out minus 1. If you divide minus a by minus 1, you have plus a. You divide minus 1 by minus 1, you have plus 1. a plus 1 is common again. If you factor it from the first group, you have s is remaining from the second group minus 1. So the two that are left form another group. So that's how we factorize by grouping. By grouping, okay? Example 44. You have AS plus AD minus BC minus BD. Clearly, AC and AD, they have common term. Then the other two terms also have a common term you put them in one group always note or you should always separate the two bracket with a plus sign irrespective of the sign attached to them because if you decide to write minus in place of plus at this point here it's going to affect the remaining term so to avoid that confusion any term that carries a minus sign Take that term the way it is, then separate the two groups with a plus sign. Okay, from the first group, you can factor at a, you have c plus d remaining. In the second group, now minus b minus b is common. So if you factor at minus, when it jumps this plus here, it becomes minus. So if you factor at minus b. You also have C plus D. Let remember the term you factor out, you use it to divide all the terms in the bracket. So don't forget that. At this point, you see that C plus D is common. If you factor it out again, the terms left are A minus B, which forms the second group. Somebody else might see it as AC minus BC. So you bring it together, then plus AD minus BD as the second group. So if you group them, you have it this way. From the first group, C is common. If you factor at C, you have A minus B. From the second group, D is common. If you factor it out, you have A minus D. A minus B, A minus B. We factor at a minus b again c plus d are left which forms the second group both answers are the same the difference is the position they occupy c plus d a minus b the same thing as a minus b c plus d both terms in bracket okay example 45 you have MN minus SY minus NS plus MY. If you are trying to look at these two terms, they have nothing in common. No way. But we can look at MN and MY because they have a common term. Then you have NS. Now, why am I taking NS? You try to follow alphabetical order if you decide if you take s y you see that you have problem when you are trying to factorize so any term you are grouping try to follow alphabetical order of that term hence i'm taking because and you have n before s y so i'm taking minus n s minus s y so you group the first two terms in one group the second two terms, the other group. On the first group, M is common. Factor at M, you have N plus Y. On the second group, minus S is common. If you factor it out, you have N plus Y. Note, the term you factor out is to divide all the terms in the bracket before you have the result. You can, you can see that N plus Y is common. When you factor it out again, the terms left are M minus S. And this forms another bracket, okay? Or, 
if you are seeing it mn and ns you can bring them together so you have mn minus ns then plus my minus sy this again now i'm taking the last term because if i because if i'm looking at my and sy following order of the letter it is m first so i have plus my minus sy then you group them into two groups with two terms in each of the brackets from the first group n is common if you factor at n you are left with m minus s in the bracket in the second group y is common if you factor at y you are left with m minus s if you factor at m minus s that is common you have n plus y remaining and they form the second group so this is how you factorize if you list it very well i'm sure by now all your coefficients are cleared okay end of lesson eight thanks for watching and learning with peter Kors education community watch out for more from the voice of peter Kors. for inquiry for questions any challenge you can contact the voice of peter Kors via this whatsapp number or using the email address for the complete package of this topic algebraic process lesson 1 to lesson 15 you can also contact him at a very little token you get the full package delivered to you for offline use for offline use lastly if you are not safe you need to be safe to do that you have to give your life to the lord jesus christ because he is the only one that have the power to save anyone if you are safe already I tell you congratulations live righteously and be prepared stay out of trouble take very good care of yourself stay well study your books do the needful at all time and goodbye for now